Hello and welcome to another edition of Educated Drinking. We're back at Chez Sivigny. Uh, we're, we had our sparkling wine and uh, we're still thirsty. And uh, our entrees are going to come out and we need some red wine to go with them because we're having a fairly hearty dish and so we've chosen some red wine. And uh, once again, I'm Meryl. Forget that. And then and John. our wonderful sommelier, John, who's taking care of us this evening. Uh, and, oh, here he is with the red wine. Here's the Shiner 07 that you ordered, madam. Oh, thank you. Uh, the label's breathtaking. It's absolutely beautiful label. <laughs> yeah. uh, shall I open it for you? Oh, well, yes, it's the wine that I ordered. Excellent. Uh, so, we use the term Shiner because this wine actually has no label on it, and that's a term that's used in the industry for wines without a label on it. And uh, so, right now, I'm watching John opening the wine and that's uh, and, you know I'm just taking a quick look at the bottle to make sure it's sound and in good condition and there wasn't any weird moldy stuff on the top of the cork which doesn't necessarily mean the wine's gonna be bad um, definitely get your suspicions up so he's uh, opened up the wine dropped the serviette and he's placed the cork in front of me now the cork madame oh thank you sir now often you'll see people smell the cork there's really no reason to smell the cork. It doesn't tell you anything. But looking at the cork is important. Um, this is a nice sound cork, but if the cork was all dried out, I'd be worried that the wine was exposed to too much oxygen, or if uh, there were mysterious things growing on the bottom of the cork. Um, that might also indicate there's something wrong with the wine. But if I did see crystals on the bottom of the cork, I'm the right way there. Uh, that wouldn't necessarily mean there was something wrong with the wine. Those are tartrate crystals. They're totally harmless. And... Um, they happen when the wine hasn't been cold stabilized. So today's Shiner is the 19, oh, uh, sorry, 2006 Sydney family Bernard Dattois blend. And this is a Cabernet, Cabernet Franc, Syrah. And I think that's all that's in it. So um, because of this style, I'm going to suggest for Madame to use the Bordeaux or the uh, a very simple uh, Riedel tasting glass. And I will pour a little bit for the Madame to consume and check. And so the sommelier waiter should just pour a little bit of wine in the glass, just enough for you to check it to make sure there's nothing wrong with the wine. Now the first thing you want to do before you swirl the wine, and it's hard to stop yourself from swirling at first, I know, is just smell the wine. Because often you're going to catch some a flaw before you've even started to swirl the wine. Um, I often catch you know, cork problems and VA problems that way. But right now it seems good, but I'm still going to give it a swirl. And the smell. And the wine seems sound, so I would at this point usually ask for the wine to be poured, but I also sometimes just like to try it to make sure that um, it's all together right. 